Again, we have the critical mass within the police to manage the 2%. But we are very professional police service. Kwa hivyo, awa kora wako kule inji, wanafikiri watatisha, watatishia maisha ya wanainchi. That will not happen. Mukora ambea, anafikiri ya tatembea na kisu huko inji, anandunga mwanainchi na kisu kwa kisu. Mukora hako na bunduki, utaumi, uta, utaumi, uta, um, utafanya mwanainchi mutukufu wa umie, that will not happen. I'm from the college, that's why I've been the commandant. And I'll tell you, our officers are very clear to when they're allowed to use a firearm. And it is in law under the police act. Five instances. When any police officer, his life is in danger, or any other person, the life is in danger, a police officer is justified to use a firearm. When protecting life or property, if there is eminent, eminent danger or threat, a police officer can use a firearm. If it is in self-defense or defense of another life because of eminent threat from, you know, to life or serious injury, a police officer can use a firearm. Anybody who is charged of having committed a felony, a serious offense, murder, rape, manslaughter, imprisonment for over the, you know, where well, the law provides imprisonment over three years, that person attempts to escape, a police officer can use a fire. Again, the last one, the fifth one. If a police officer has arrested somebody charged for having committed a felony. Then you attempt rescuing that person. You attempt, the law says, a police officer can use a firearm. Therefore, the, the officers are aware. And any police officer who uses a or a firearm under those circumstances, we are there to protect that officer. Kwa hivyo tunambia wa kora, una uko kule kwa estate, unasumbua wanainchi kwa kudunga wa visu, kupiga watu risasi, it will not happen under my watch. I will have slept on the job. Wale kule wanaiba ngombe, Actually, it is livestock lastering. It is not cattle lastering. A lot of property destroyed. Wanainchi wana kufa. Maofisa wana kufa. Our strategy now is to target the loans. We are calling them livestock loans. And we shall engage uh, um, parliament so that uh, such people they are dealt with for committing a terrorist act, acts. The president has pronounced himself on this. Kile mimi nasema, all of us, let us enjoy our existence. Yale mali umetafuta kwa bidi tutachunga iyo mali. Yeyote anajaribu kuingia kumfuko wako, anachukua wallet yako. Huko na rekibesu menunua ya dhaabu, anataka kuhichukua, atapata chamte makuni. That is the message you are sending. As I take charge of the National Police Service, Honorable Chief Justice. Criminals out there, please bear with me because you face it. We are not threatening anybody. But we are stating Things as they are. Tunataka kusema ukweli. Tuede mashambali tulime. Kila mutu asu, a, ashugulikia aso yake. Lakini si mambo ya kusumbua wengine. Otherwise, um, 
Honorable Chief Justice, once more, ni kusema shukurani sana. Mungu wa bariki, nyote, na mungu wa bariki, inchi yetu tukufu. Asanti sana. Thank you very much, Inspector General of Police, for your remarks. Uh, before I welcome the Honorable Chief.